Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. And today I'm going to be reviewing a super weird movie that was just added to Netflix called I'm Thinking of Ending Things, written and directed by Charlie Kaufman, who of course wrote the screenplay for one of my favorite movies of all time, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. And if you're a big film person, you've probably heard this movie has been coming out and you saw the trailer. And yes, this is a very strange, odd, and interpretive film that is very, very unique. And this movie is something that is kind of a an odd one for me because it is beautifully directed it is beautifully shot the cinematography in this movie is some of the best i've seen all year the aspect ratio everything about that worked for me the performances in this movie have some of the best performances i've seen in a long time especially from the two main leads of this film who i'll get into in a second here and all the supporting cast as well and it's very well written the dialogue it's extremely smart and there's a lot of subtext in there but I have no idea what in the hell I just watched because it is also one of the most confusing like movie experiences I've ever dealt with. And to a, to a point, this movie is very interpretive, like I said, and you're supposed to be able to walk out of this movie having your own thoughts on what it meant and what different things had been, you know, like what certain characters and certain things represented within the film itself. And I am just, after one viewing, I've got nothing. I'm telling you guys, this movie is so so bizarre and of course there are the two leads of this film or should i say the two jessies of this film jesse buckley and jesse plummins jesse plummins who i've i've loved as an actor ever since i first saw him in fargo season two and of course he's in a bunch of other things like this movie you know he popped up there he popped up in game night and he's the best part of game night you know he he's a great actor who just pops up in all these weird roles like this and of course jesse buckley who the only thing i've seen her in was chernobyl which if you guys have not seen chernobyl it's a great series and she is excellent in this movie she is by far my favorite actress in this film or actor in general like her performance is so great and her the way she presents her dialogue and the way she kind of acts around her character and all these weird situations that she ends up being in was fascinating and her character was definitely the most interesting in the movie because you don't really know what she is is in this movie you don't really know what her role really is until the very ending of the movie but even then you're like is it what I'm thinking or is it not what I'm thinking or is my brain just overthinking everything that's happening in this movie? And it's a fascinating story with her character in general, but the main character, I guess, kind of is Jesse Buckley, but Jesse Plemons also has a very, very large role and you can also say that he's the main character in this movie. Like I said, very strange and he is excellent as well. And also Tony Collette and David Thewlis are also in this movie. David Thewlis was in Fargo season three. So again, another Fargo actor in this movie and Tony Collette steals the show. She is excellent in everything she's in. Knives Out, Hereditary. Let's just get an Oscar for Tony, please, maybe for this movie since there's not a lot of releases this year. And maybe she can get it for this film because she is kind of insane in this film. She really goes for it. And same thing with David Thewlis. Those two actors are having the time of their life in this film. They're having so much fun with these wacky roles that they're given. And if you want to know the general premise, I guess the pitching aspect of this movie is you know you have Jesse Plemons and Jesse Buckley they are a new couple probably been dating for about six or seven weeks and you know he's she's going to see his parents for the first time and it's kind of a really awkward situation in general but weird things start happening around the house that you think maybe something odd is going on here and you don't really know exactly what it is and that's the general premise of what I got out of the trailer, but that is not the movie whatsoever. This is definitely not a horror movie. The trailer didn't present itself as a horror movie. It's definitely more, I mean, the trailer kind of pitched it more as a thriller, whereas this is more of a drama, a very weird and trippy drama that is really dealing with these characters and what they represent within this world of the film. And, you know, I think I realized about 20 minutes into the movie what it was, especially because the first 20 minutes of this film is just them two on the car ride driving through a snowstorm. And it's just their conversations that they're having on throughout. And that's why I said the dialogue in this film is so incredible because, you know, you're having a scene that it just takes place inside a car with two people talking and that could get very, very boring. And I think some people might get bored by the beginning of this film, but the dialogue in their conversation is so engaging that really drew you in. And this happens several times throughout the movie. Once they get out the house, you know, they have a little conversation and then it's back to just conversations again. And, and the dialogue is so well written and the way that the director directs this film is especially engaging because like I said, it's 20 minutes of straight dialogue and the way he moves the camera around this car, the different shots you get and the cinematography and the just gorgeous look of this movie without Charlie Coffin behind the camera and, and holding the pencil of writing the script because apparently that's how I think people write scripts is with pencil and paper. 
It's definitely not how people write scripts. But it, without him writing this film, directing it, this movie really would not have worked. And it's a very bizarre story, like I've, you know, overly mentioned so far. And the book, I'm guessing, is just really out there. And so to adapt this story, it's very audacious. And I, I really commend Charlie Coffin for taking this script or taking this book and adapting it in some way to make it some theatrical experience that either makes somewhat of sense or just gives you a, a feeling, the atmosphere of this film that it has that really does convey the story that it's trying to tell. So I highly recommend you guys watch this movie if you're a lover of film. If you're not a lover of film and you don't really like dialogue heavy movies or trippy, weird, confusing films that are really interpretive, this is probably not for you. But if you're a film lover like me and you like movies like Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind and just weird, trippy stuff like that, you might really, really enjoy this movie. This film really is one of a kind, so that's why I really did end up enjoying it. So thanks guys for watching this video and I will have another review out for Mulan tomorrow, which I have some mixed feelings on that one. So subscribe to the channel, comment below what you guys thought of this film and other movies you want me to review in this time where we're not getting too many movies. I know Tenet was just released, so I have a review out for that one if you guys want to see my review out for that. But I don't think there's any more movies really coming out theatrically in the next couple of weeks until Wonder Woman, really. So leave me suggestions, comment below what you thought of this film, and do the, all the things. Leave a like, hit the bell, subscribe, and I hope to see you all in my next one. Mm -hmm.